Hello YouTube, welcome to this week's episode of our discussion on Falcon and Winter Soldier. This is Alil. This is Steve. And this is Sean. So Sean, you always started. What do you, what do you what did you think this week? Oh man, I thought it was great, man. I thought there was a lot of little small Easter eggs. I thought um I loved, you know you know, I loved them talking about other other things worldly i guess like you know uh what's going on and 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 the past of how black superheroes were treated was very interesting and kind of like of today kind of like yeah i can see that you know what i mean it's For sure. it was pretty awesome though it was, you you know that's a story arc in the comic right that they yeah. came out with uh i don't know steve do you know that yeah that I know Isaiah Bradley. Bradley. or is it bradley right Bradley. Yeah, bradley. <clears throat> Isaiah Bradley and yeah, he was one of those like three hundred some odd soldiers that were given superhero shit to yeah. kind of replicate Captain America's yeah. yeah to varying degrees of success. Yeah. And yeah. and in the comics he was arrested too. But he was yeah. arrested because he stole Cap's suit from I uh, maybe it was it was a museum. I don't know I don't know if they named dropped the Smithsonian, but he stole his suit to go on a mission, stopped the Nazis but then was arrested because he stole the cap suit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was, a it, was it was it was it was a, it was a really good episode. You know, it's it's strong every week. I think I, I I'm starting to to see what's going to happen though. I have a hunch of, you know, what's going to turn the tables like what, you know, it's what we think are bad guys are going to be bad guy are going to be good guys and what good guys are going to be bad guys. I can see it already coming already, you know? So it's like, okay, this is where we're at. And I'm okay with it though. Like I'm fine with it, uh, but I know how's it going to end, you know? Well, I mean, I think there's gonna be I'm, not, more, I'm not going to be surprised. I'm going to be like, yeah. okay, I can figure that. I think there's going to be more to it. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be, you know, using this episode as as black and white as bad and good you know i mean like i think well you, you can know, see the, you can see it coming well, already. right i mean the, can... the flag smashers already feel sympathetic you yeah know I mean? and but and we're it's like they they're stealing they, medical supplies but are they are they yes no yes. but see see the power broker i don't know if you guys know about the power broker as well in the marvel in the marvel universe the power broker gave john walker his super soldier serum I'm not pulling all those cards out. I'm not. I'm They've not already thinking, talked about the power broker. You kind of, you kind of have to. Power though. broker <laughs> was already named here. He was chasing those guys. I wonder if they didn't just steal medicine. If they stole super soldier formula that they all took. Yeah, I'm pretty sure hands. that they. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that they got it from somewhere. We'll find that out. So, soon as well. so wouldn't it make sense if if you want, you know. Uh, it, it's I like see. You lost, lost your mic there. Um, yeah. Pulling all the strings. I don't know if Zemo's pulling anything yet. I mean, he's still in jail. At the end of this episode, he was there. I mean, I think yeah. it, I think he'll go yeah, but he had a calculating look on his face though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. Zemo looked like he was up to some shit. You know what I mean? Well, see, but Zemo's Zemo's mo in Civil War was nobody should be super powered. He's against superpowers. I mean, he even killed all those other frozen soldiers that were still in that Hydra base. They thought that he was going to awaken them to build an army, but it was the opposite. We don't know Zemo's turn in this. Well, we do, we don't. We don't. But so but I'm gonna I'm you, gonna I'm gonna you, sit out and wait if he gets a little bit of serum in his body. <laughs> well, I think I mean Zemo he needs becomes to get the fucking that. badass Zemo with a sword. Don't Zemo like, needs oh. to get that glue. Was it that uh what the hell was that called? Now I'm drawing a blank. It was something the X. Glue? No, it wasn't <laughs> no, it wasn't but like that's why the mask is fused onto his face. <laughs> Is because no, yeah, this one. That was, it's, it's just yeah. a little mask he puts on in this one. Yeah, he just I know, but, but he did it too in that one. And then the, then the, well, the first Zemo had it fused on, and then the second one had the same accident, but then his face was just dis- disfigured, and then he used the mask. So, I mean, 
I'm just saying. Well, like, I'll say this too. Like, uh, we only got like a little taste of John Walker in episode one, and this one we got a lot of John Walker in. I actually didn't mind him as much. I thought, you know, like, like what kind of, you know, how bad is it to be put in that kind of situation where it, it doesn't seem like he's all that bad a guy. I'm not saying he's not going to turn super shitty by the end, but like right here, it seems like he's trying to be genuine. You know, yeah, like, it's, hey, it's, guys, it, it kind of an ass. <clears throat> he looks well, shitty to me, man. He's, he he's got like his little partner. Shit. He's got his little Bucky, you know, running around well, alongside of him, you know, his own well, little that sidekick. Guy's a character too. He like is. he's, he is a he, he he turn does he turn evil too? They both do. They both turn yeah, evil. Yeah, yeah, I kind of figured they it. Both, yeah, because I mean, they both they both get the serum. He was well, I, know initially that, I, know, I know John Walker's comic book backstory. I understand that. So I'm, I'm assuming that he's gonna turn code at some point. I'm just saying they're at least giving him a little bit of dimension here. You know, watching him try to say that he's not trying to take over Steve's place, but at the same time being a little shitty to fucking Falcon and Bucky, like. You guys are the old dogs. You know, it's time for the old dogs to go out to pasture and let the new guys take over kind of attitude. Yeah, but you know, um, what, my, you know what my issue is? Like, I, I don't understand the shield. Like, do you have to have superpowers to use that fucking shield? Because the way that motherfucker was throwing that shield, like, it was like a boomerang. I yeah, always think Cap, I, I, bet, I already thought Cap could do that shit. I, I, this I, motherfucker was catching He was doing shit, great like, with the shield. Yes. I <laughs> bet you. Hey. I bet you John Walker already got the formula. I bet you the power broker already hooked them up. Because he did it in the comics. And not, oh, I watched oh, the episode. I, I know I know you're not. I watched <laughs> the episode. We did that with WandaVision. I'm not doing that with this one. <laughs> I understand that. But I watched the episode three times. And of course. I watched, I watched it about three or four times. And oh, when, course. well, I mean, I, I was, you know, doing la- folding laundry. Put, put the episode on. Um. There's that scene when they're walking and they and they do that. Oh, it's, it might be the big three again. Oh, wizards, androids, and aliens. And then he's like, you know, then Bucky's like, "There's no such thing as wizards." And then Falcon says, "Or super soldiers." And they and John Walker gives his partner like that, like a weird like side look, like, "Huh, oh, like super soldiers?" Like, you know, what? Why? Why would you say that? It felt to me, watching that scene multiple times, that there was something more to that. Like that they knew. I'm not dipping that far into it. <laughs> I wouldn't dip too far, but they already name dropped every major character from that storyline in the comics. And and to wield that shield like like how he did when they showed him on Good Morning America using that thing and just I mean, his training on it was ridiculous. That's kind of cool. The uh, the Star Spangled Man band, you know, the band yeah. playing the Star Spangled Man song uh, when they were running on the football field. That was cool. Uh, it was kind of fucked up when they walked outside of Isaiah's house and the cops showed up. <laughs> oh, I was man. like, ah. Oh. I mean, it's man. I can see that happening. <laughs> Me too, but it's like fucked up. You know, it's like golly. Well, even that little kid, you know, I mean, he's like, hey, it's the Black Falcon. <laughs> Did I call you Black Kid? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was funny. It was. I, I really hope we get like a flashback to see some more of Isaiah. Like I don't want him to be in and out here. Like I want. I want to see some of that. You know, that could be really, really cool. And you know yeah, that his his grandson who's in it becomes Patriot in the Young Avengers. So they're they've already they're dropping Young Avengers characters all over the place because yeah, you have Wiccan and and Speed from the other one. Right, and then you've got and Falcon Patriot. here. You got Patriot here. Um, we I'm already know Kate Bishop is coming. Yeah. We know Kate Bishop's coming. We know uh, Camilla Khan is coming. I mean, it's holy crap! Yeah, Young Avengers. Now, 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 now they just need a Young Hulk. And they got they got the uh, yeah, what's, well, what's the girl? The America. Hulk, Hulk thing, yeah, America Ferrera is coming too. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Ferrera. No, that's <laughs> no America. That's the actress. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I was thinking, that. yeah, Superstore. I was thinking about Superstore because that finale. Um, um, yeah, watch. No, but uh, yeah, I mean they're setting it all up. I mean, right here they've got the Young Avengers built. It's true. They do. It's interesting. I don't know if it'll be a movie or a show, but it, it's it, going to be a show, isn't it? Did they, they say it was going to be a show? Announced the Young Avengers yet? I thought they did. Nobody, they said they were going to do that. Nope, nobody knows. No, yet. They're going to, but they haven't announced it yet. They're going. Yeah, to. there's no announcement for it yet. Why wouldn't they? You already set everybody up. Well, right, and all you need to do is you need to get a scroll in to be Hulkling, and you're done. Like you just get anybody, because that's who the the Hulk character is in the 
He's a scroll. I thought it was something Cho. I thought it was no. Uh, well, it's a different. Amadeus Cho. He's, Cho. He's, 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 Hulk. he's like an actual Hulk. He's an but he's not the Hulkling in, in the Young Avengers. I mean, they could just do that and make make that character that. But I'm just saying that's. That'd be kind of cool. They, they've laid the groundwork here really quickly for this Young Avengers team, which is pretty crazy. I, I'm just, I'm happy. I'm very, I, I kind of wish we would get more episodes from, um, from, from this. But the episodes are pretty long too. They're a good, they're a good measure. They're good forty five minutes. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I. Really it is weird it. thinking that like at the end of next week we're gonna be halfway done with the season now. <laughs> I'm I know. Like, well, let's go, guys, come on. Yeah, I know. We haven't, we haven't gotten. Uh... We haven't gotten anything yet, really. I mean, we've gotten every episode though does have a good action set piece, which is nice. You know, you have something to hang your hand, and, and this one was great. The the uh, truck top fight scene was great, yeah. fantastic. Um, so you know, in the last one we had the canyon thing, and so um, who, who knows what we're gonna get next week? But can't wait. Yeah, I'm okay. all in. Getting man. something with it. Zemo. That's what we're getting for sure. Zemo, Zemo's big episode. And, and probably uh, Agent 13. I mean, she hasn't shown up. Sharon Carter hasn't shown up here at all. Yeah, it's true. She's still in the credits. And I'm like, why are you in the credits? You ain't here yet. <laughs> it was, like... but it's, it was it's... a good moment, too, where, where uh, Sam and Bucky were in that therapist uh, little interrogation room. And they had to get, like, legs intertwined. And they were and fucking Bucky let them have it about, like, you gave up the shield. Why would you do that? Yeah, Bucky's really pissed about that shield, man. He really he does. Trusted you. Because, well, because yeah. that's what he said. He said he trusted you, and if he was wrong about you, then you might be wrong about me. <laughs> you know what's weird, though? It's, they, they make it feel like Cap is dead. Well. Like he's not. He's like dead. I mean, he's old. Like, he could have died of old age a day after. <laughs> that's what, that's where I'm he curious ancient. about. You would think they would bring him in. Like, come on, let's just go talk to but him. In, in, talk to him. Yeah, but in the world right now, like, he disappeared. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't want to be a part of this. Like, he, he did his time and then went back and lived his life. I mean. Yeah, but he's there, though, as an old man. So, like, where is, is he? he? How do we know he didn't just bleep back in and, and, and timeline out? Memes are all over the place. There was like a, a old guy in the in the audience, and all sorts of different audience gatherings. And everyone's like, "Look, there's Cap. Look at the white hair. There's Cap." Yeah, so, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not. I'm not doing that with Cap. That, but... Cap is not coming. To this episode. But I would like. No, I would. I mean, sure. I would like for him to show up. But I know this is going to be more of a, you know, them two centric show. But I would like him to at least show up. At least be proud when Sam wears. The red, white, and blue. You know what I'm saying? Do you think like I, I know that Sam's gonna get that cap suit at some point? He has yeah, to. I mean, they've had well, I mean, there was a toy, there was a toy leak, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but I'm hoping that they give Bucky kind of that that suit too. You know, how Bucky had it in the in the in the comics where he had the cowl and was like metal but black. Oh, that'd you know, be like, cool, man. Like if they so they were like a team, you know, and Sam had the shield, but like Bucky was there, like, you know, with the fucking actual red, white, and blue suit too. Like, you know, I feel like this show needs to keep going. Like they could do a season two of this and keep it moving. Like I would enjoy that because they, they might. I don't, I don't want this to be a one off. Like Wandavision, I'm fine. You know, whatever, you know, whatever happens to that. But with this, this is a really good fucking show. Like this is a show that you would watch on like TV. You'd be like, oh shit, this is a good show. Let's this is keep what we this want. Shit going. This is yeah. what. We want. Yeah. But you know what though that they they still might it just might be different it might not be Falcon and the Winter Soldier it might and the other thing too is I think I think he's more leaning toward that White Wolf moniker because I mean, that name dropped here too so who knows and who knows where he shows up I mean he has ties he spent all that time in Wakanda he might they might bring him back into the, the sequel of Black Panther it's true yeah. Can't make Bucky Barnes a new Black Panther. No, they're not, they're not doing that. <laughs> white, white, white Panther. Right. <laughs> yeah. the the, white the, Panther. That was funny too. That was a great scene. He's like, he's like, look at you, spend time with Wakanda. You're the White Panther. You know, it's like that's again another funny line because just like with Falcon telling that kid that he's not the Black Falcon, why is he calling him the White Panther? You know, it's like, it's always that thing because comics did that back in the day. Everybody was a color, then your, then your character name. Yeah, to look at the Power Rangers for season. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. Good lord. That's deep. 
No, <laughs> I, 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 I like I like the spin here. I like that we don't know yet what the the flag smashers are. Um, I think it's I think it's gonna be a good setup. I think it's gonna be a good show. Yeah. Solid episode, man. Hero for me. Yeah, hero for me too. Me too. All right, well, that's it for Falcon Winter Soldier. Shorter, short episode, but, uh, you know, let's keep it moving. Well, it's just kind of set up still, so, you know, we'll right, right. I mean, we'll, more kind of give, hope, up, give up on later. Hopefully more. Like like you said, Steve, I want more uh, of the uh, Isaiah Bradley story. Just a little bit. Absolutely. I don't snippets. think we're going to get that, but we got, a, we got a tease of it that it really happened, and now we know. Could you imagine if they just did, like, a one-off? Like, they were just, like, of like, just him? Just a, well, even if, if it wasn't, if they had more show, fucking it's time, just like, you know how they had like one shots. Remember when the yeah. Marvel movies were first yeah. coming, they had like those one shots, like something funny happened on the way to pick up Thor's hammer or whatever that bullshit was. Like, like they could do something like that for this, just give you like a thirty minute boom. This is something else that happened in World War Two. Check this shit out. And it's just yeah, one little contained story. That would be so dope. It's kind of fucked up though how they how they said your people fucking did this to me. So the only people that I could think of who did that to him was fucking Ant Man, Tony Stark. No, and... his people. He was talking to Bucky. He was Hydra. He even said it. Oh yeah, he was talking about that because remember, Russia. remember, and oh, here's okay, here, okay. So I didn't want well, to go well, into spoilers because well, Sean, you kept well, you kept poo pooing, looking into the future and all that well, kind of stuff. Well, on at, this well show. at this point, well at this point though, if you think about it, they were all part of Hydra. And they didn't even know it though because they were part of Shield. They, they were never part of Shield. Tony Stark was, never signed up for Shield, Shield up until that point. Was Hank Pym was, Shield? yeah, but Hank, Hank Pym, Pym but Hank Pym didn't do any Super Soldier stuff. Hank Pym was doing we the Pym part. We don't know what he did. Hank Pym was in there like ten years after all this shit, so yes. like he had to have known something. Because cool. his people that were coming in there from Shield was Arnon Zola. We already know Hank Pym's a racist woman beater. <laughs> <laughs> in the Come comics, on. true. In the comics is true. But I think Arnon Zola is going to have another major play here. That's my prediction at the end. No, I think Zola's I'm coming I'm back. I'm done with Zola. Zola. Yeah, they did. They did him no justice in in fucking Captain America. He should have yeah. been a fucking robot. Civil War was cool, or Winter Soldier was really, really good, but not that part. <laughs> yeah, that was stupid. I'm just saying. Still no, no. Back. I, I'm just saying too. <laughs> I don't want Arnon Zola back. Leave that. Leave well, Toby I... Jones alone. Yeah, I'm with Steve. Uh, you, still bring his, all over here. you still bring his ba- ass back in an in a android body, Sean, with a TV in the stomach? Listen, listen, a little. If you go and bring an android fa- face body, just give me MODOK, dog. Don't give me this fucking animated bullshit you that know, you're doing. I don't want to see that. You know MODOK's eventually coming. I don't know, man. I don't know. They I would were, like it to. Might, it might be too much. It might be too much in, for him. And if they do it, yeah. it initially, be... initially, they talked about MODOK instead of Civil War. But then they changed it up for Civil War because they, you know, the overarching story. I mean, yeah. If 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 I get if I get if they start if they start talking about AIM, then yeah, I'm in. Like I'm okay. Well, then yeah, we'll get Modok. But if they don't talk about AIM, then right, see, I, I don't think we're I don't think we're gonna get fully AIM and Modok and stuff until we get to the armor war. God, could you imagine seeing like fucking yellow fucking suits and shit? Yeah, <laughs> oh, just an AIM, bot, AIM soldiers, like just yeah, that's around. so fucking cool, man. Because they're, they're they're expendable, so you can just fucking kill them and beat them up or do whatever you gotta do to them, and that's fun though. I yeah, go you can easily like once you have one of those models built, you can CGI a thousand aim troopers. Who cares? Like they're all wearing green and yellow suits with these big bucket helmets. Just do it. Yeah, there's things that they could do. I mean, we are getting armor wars, but I don't think that's gonna be a part of it. A little bit. Oh, Justin Hammer. If it, Justin Hammer's coming back, I mean. But we're just we're we're getting we're getting a Modok TV cartoon show though. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's on Hulu. It's not on Disney Plus. It's and and it's it's just it's I mean, a lot a lot of names are attached. I think it's I, mean, it I like think it it's funny. I think it's additional content as well to to bring the character out for people to understand who that character is before they drop him in a movie. Mm. Say what you want about the Avengers game, but they did an amazing job with Modok in there. They so, did like, that Modok story. If you can do great. if you can do that in a movie or or some kind of version of that where he slowly changes into. Because yeah. that, that's the thing, like, he doesn't come out to be that full body with the tiny head, you know, that full big head with the tiny legs and arms and shit. He doesn't come out to that until the very end of the game, but you've seen him gradually get there, so by the time he's there, you're like, okay, it makes sense. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yep. it's, it's, wouldn't it be great if, if Armor Wars started that tease? 
and maybe we don't get Modok here for a couple years, but Armor Wars is bringing that character who becomes Modok. It would yeah, be nice. I remember his name before that. It, it would be it would be nice to get Modok either in Captain Marvel or I mean Miss Marvel, or Hawk, you know Hawkeye and and um and it's Hawkeye. Uh, it's Hawkeye. Uh, yeah, it's Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Like that would be those would be cool villains because it would give Hawkeye more of a a, a nice thing. Oh shit, he gets to take on like AIM. Like that's cool. Him and Kate Bishop. Like that's fun to see. Or Miss Marvel. Maybe because he's such a scientist, and remember Miss Marvel how she got her powers, that could be a whole thing because that was a part of the the you know her arc too, Modok a little bit in her in in the video game. So that could come to play because remember that's I forgot how she got her she got her from from the uh, her powers from the um, Terrigen Mist, right? Yeah. I don't know if we're playing into that, but so she's more of an inhuman. Yeah, so I'm very curious to see where this plays out with her. So it right. could it could, we it don't could know. get Moda. Yeah, we, you can you can you can open up. I mean, there's a lot there's a lot of shit to open there's up. There's no there's no Inhumans right now. We don't we don't count that bullshit that was done. They they already washed away that stuff. Um, yeah. So I don't ter- know. Ter- ter- Mist, ter- you know, mutants. You you're bringing on all this all this stuff, and, and all they're doing is peppering right now. Peppering, yeah. it's giving us it's good giving us stories, but peppering. Yeah, yeah, so. they're definitely they're definitely setting us up for something good. So I, I can't wait. I'm so intrigued. It's fun. It's fun to do, man. It's fun to watch, and you well, know, and it's fun to go back to these characters again. Yes, yeah. it feels like it kind of feels like something's going right in the world for one. It's been a long time, man. It was a long fucking year. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, just seeing year Bucky and, and Sam on on screen, you know, was like just it just feels good. It feels good to get back. Yeah. No, I com- I completely agree. I mean, and seeing them together, I think they they work really yeah, well. Yeah, their chemistry. Oh, they have really great chemistry. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. Well, that's it for Falcon Winter Soldier episode two. Um, thanks for listening. This is Lil. This is Sean. And this is Steven. Until next time, keep it geeky. <laughs>